I think Grailed is this really cool kind of community marketplace with an emphasis on the community. The phrase we've used here before is by enthusiasts, for enthusiasts, everyone that works here loves clothes dearly. I mean, I think if you look at where the men's fashion community is now compared to where it was two years ago, it's definitely a lot more prevalent and a lot more dis diverse and a lot more widespread. Our focus is on like, yo, how can we like teach people as much as possible about fashion? How can we make this more into a knowledge base? How can we let people kind of like hang out on Grail.com? That's why the Fire For All mantra comes in there because, you know, Grail has enough unique pieces for anyone to be able to buy something within their own style profile. My name is Arun Gupta, uh, I'm the CEO of Grailed. We started the site for people to buy and sell their clothes, um, and er basically everything we do from then on has been sort of an extension of that ethos. Grail.com before the 100 was basically just a marketplace. If you really like Raph Simmons, if you're really into Sam Laurent, if you really want to wear Rick, you know, you can come to Grailed and you can basically afford it. I think the biggest challenge in the beginning was just getting word out about it, you know, because like definitely people wanted to see it once they knew about it, but just getting that initial, you know, sort of like press about the website. Honestly, Grail was kind of a unique challenge um, to brand initially, just because of the kind of core of the site is used clothing. And not only that, it's like guys buying and selling to each other with very little kind of like corporate barrier in between. My name is Jake Metzger and my title is Director of Marketing. For us, it was really about kind of getting the site into the hands of the right people, making sure those people were using the site in the right way, and then kind of like doing a slow rollout in terms of like the press outreach and making sure that there were really good, solid inflection points to sell people on in terms of a story. So we've really tried to brand it upmarket, really emphasize the collectability of like the items on Grailed and like the rarity of them. We've been lucky enough to kind of like come up at a time where archive fashion seems to be really having a moment, which is great, but there's so much more. Like there's so many more sections on Grailed um, outside of like just that kind of main proper feed. We obviously have basics and hype and things like that. My name is Lawrence Schlossman and I am the brand director at Grailed. Grailed has this thing that is becoming a force in the fashion community that has a ton of resources at its disposal. It's like moving into the end of this year, the end of 2016 and moving forward. I don't see this kind of thing stopping. Again, as Grailed continues to grow and get a bigger profile, we're coming up on a lot of people's radars that probably didn't know we existed and see that we offer a kind of service and are you know, a kind of stalwart in a certain community that they might want to reach as well. So why not kind of see where these things go? My name is Julian Connor. I am the CTO of Grailed and I kind of oversee the entire technical operation. I'm Adam. I'm one of the iOS developers here. My name is Liam. Um, mostly work on the web, the back end. The most challenging aspect of working on Grail.com is actually maintaining the performance of the site and still build new features while growing. As we get bigger, we don't want to let the quality of what people see and experience on the site degrade at all. Now we get a ton and ton of people using the site as well, so that kind of dictates things like, you know, what do we build next and how do we build it. One of the big things we're working on is like just a better way of filtering and searching through the site. So you have to be able to search by like your size and like even like color and like little things like that. And so being able to do that like seamlessly in the app is going to make the like buying experience much better. We want to let people find the things that they want to find or surface the best stuff. So one piece of that is building out tools to let us move things off the site that shouldn't be there or, or categorize them properly, make sure that we have a lot of people working on fakes, frauds, scammers, so we're constantly staying ahead of that. All the features that I'm really excited about are basically around moving product from this like inventory database that we have right in front of the user. We want to make it more of like a community for fashion enthusiasts, less of just a pure marketplace. Again, continuing this community vein is letting people showcase their personal style more so on Grail.
really building out these like user profile features, letting people follow other people, see what they post, letting people maybe share their Instagram feed onto their profile, uh, maybe example fits that they really like, brands that they really like. Every day we just try to improve the site. It's basically me and Arun working on products. Our main product, which is obviously the site and the feed and making it easier for people to find products, making it easier to navigate, just improving the overall experience and as well as the aesthetics. And then there's also the other side of the content stuff that we do, which is the, the directly only platform. And right now we're starting to gear up for the next Grail 100. When you have that final product and it comes out and people respond well to it, it's definitely like worth it, you know. My name is Eric Poon. Uh, I'm the design director for Grail. My name is Scott. I manage site curation, fraud, and aspects of marketing. My name's Dable, I do curation and customer service for the site. Grail came around and I was just amazed that I can buy an undercover t-shirt for 50 bucks, 60 bucks. I could buy Raph Simmons pieces for you know, a little bit more expensive, like 200. And little by little I started to build my wardrobe until I started working here and I was able to just go all in. Dry Clean Only is a platform that just further pushes the information, so yeah, someone that's not usually into like acronym and, and yeah. technical fabrics can read a Dry Clean Only post and start to dive into those kind of garments. We're able to like surface our, all of the brands that we love, that um, we think our community will love as well, sharing staff pics, highlighting street style. First step in sort of like engaging with the community directly and saying, okay, we know you guys are into fashion, you're all here for the same reason, let's provide more content, let's provide other avenues that are you know beyond strictly the marketplace for you to engage with. We all here are passionate about clothes, we have the brands and designers that we love, and why not share that with the community? As the culture of the internet has grown, like we've kind of also become a hub for this place where people come to like learn about stuff. I think that after kind of this hashtag menswear internet boom, which kind of happened because of blogging, there's been kind of a little bit of a lull in terms of like menswear editorial online. And so I think that we can kind of step in there and fill as much of that vacuum as possible. I think it's just a natural kind of extension of Grailed and our team's taste level and what we're into and what we're passionate about. And that's kind of how I look at Dry Clean Only. Grailed 100 basically is a microcosm of what Grailed is. It's the most Grail pieces at a price that is affordable to everybody. The Grail 100 is great because we really get to push the envelope as far as the design stuff um, and really showcase what we do here and like our taste level uh, as a team and as a company. This is what we want to put out in front of our users, like let's see what they think about it. And that was sort of like the genesis of how the Grail 100 came about. Grail is almost like a great equalizer for people, right? In terms of kind of leveling the playing field and letting anybody have access to this stuff that wouldn't normally have access to it. I don't see Grail staying niche. If anything, I, I see it obviously growing exponentially because it's the easiest way to shop. It's the cheapest way to shop in a certain respect. So I feel like we're bubbling now and I feel like it's only gonna get bigger. The idea of finding stuff that, you know, not everyone has necessarily, or that like was from a past season that you missed. Being able to find that runway piece that was, is now like a quarter of the price it was at retail, and like, oh man, this is actually accessible now, I remember this. Grail really represents fashion for the people, and we really try to live by our motto of fire for all.